Okay, so in, in this proof, what we want to notice here is that we have a secant to the fourth minus tan to the fourth. And you can treat this as a difference of squares, okay? So the square root for secant to the fourth is secant squared theta. And the square root of tan to the fourth is, um, is tan squared. So I'm going to put secant squared theta at the beginning of each of these factors. Remember, difference of squares. We have the square root of the first one as the first term, uh, separated by a plus and a minus. And then the second term is the square root of this one. So this is going to be tan squared theta. Tan squared theta. Okay? So those are the, uh, that's the, those are the factors for this right here. Now what you want to do is you want to take a look at um, one or both of these factors and see if we can um, either factor it further or maybe substitute in some kind of um, identity. All right. So um, I'm looking at, oh, first of all, first of all, here's the other thing you should notice. You're trying to prove that it's the same as this right here, guys, right? So I see that exact same thing right over here as one of the factors. So I'm going to focus on this one. And I'm going to say, boy, that would sure be nice if I could somehow rewrite that as being 1. Because if I have this factor times 1, I'm done. So a couple things that you could do. I would look at these and I would say, oh, you know what? I think there's an identity for secant squared and tan squared. Okay. So, tan oh, look at this. Tan squared x is equal to secant squared x minus 1. I see. How does that help me? Well... If I do secant squared minus 1 here, I would be subtracting a secant squared. Secant squared minus secant squared, and I'd be left with a minus negative 1. So that's what you're going to want to do. So watch this. I'm going to rewrite what I, I'm not touching. It's always a good rule, even though it takes you, what is that, 2.7 seconds took me to do that. Okay, just so you don't forget anything. Now watch this. I'm going to do this, secant squared theta plus 1, uh, minus 1 secant squared minus 1, right? Let's go back and just double check that, okay? Secant squared minus 1 right here. And uh, of course, that's that's coming from this uh, form of the Pythagorean identity. Uh, I've just, because it's a known identity, you can treat it like an equation and move things from one side to the other, okay? That's okay. <clears throat> so this is now, what do I have here now? Secant squared minus secant squared. That's gone. And I have a negative or a minus negative one. So this right here is secant squared theta plus tan squared theta times one. Secant squared theta plus tan squared theta. That's exactly what I wanted on the other side. Quad erit demonstrandum. I am done. Okay. So that's number 13 for you. That should help you with number 14 on your assignment. And there's a block of questions that are just like this. That's what you're going to want to do. Factor is a difference of squares. It's one of, the, one of the tips. Factoring, difference of squares. You know how to do that. Take a look at them and see if you can now use identities to replace one or, or more terms.